Head off coincidences. I just had to stop these meters quickly. It's quite funny. I'll just look at these numbers 590, and there was a 5 there, so it's got a 6. And this meter 5905. I know that's kilowatt hours, there was a decimal. But sometimes coincidence how you have certain numbers um, happening on meters. Um, the load on these meters is about 25 to 30 ampere, and I'll give go a bit in details. First start with this old Ferranti. Um, this meter got a date written on there. Hard to read, but it said uh, what was it, 20 something 491. This meter was removed in 1991. The meter is from 1927. So that means this meter, and I'll get a close up on the date, stand by. So that meter has been in service for about 92 years. It's been taken out in uh, 2019, yeah, 92 years. That's pretty good going. It has yellowed up quite a lot because it has been severely overloaded. And um, I'll probably go, it's a 10 amp long range meter, but um, I've got a 30 amp load on it. Um, in a house it would have been often sitting at 30 amps when I was cooking and other things going on. Well it got taken out and replaced with a smart meter or something like that. It must be an old house where it came from. And here we've got an ABB meter. One of these newer ones. I don't think I've seen it on YouTube yet. By any of the other meter collectors, so I might as well document this device. Okay, wait for Click there we go, I had a click here. The meter was hanging in there nicely. Load is about 30, 35 ampere. That's about uh, 33, 34 ampere. Rough setup but it works. I'll go let these meter percolate for a while. The FDB, instead of having a black mark on front of the disc, they got a little arrow on it. So this would use the current a bit and we can see it a bit better. So we watch the disc and we'll see there's an uh, arrow on there and we'll stop it at the right moment. Uh, it should be about there. Let's we'll stop it here. Oh, still a bit of flux on the Varayak. Fancy FDB, Holland Wood, England. Police helicopter, I think. And here we got the symbols. Um, you got HL, that's high load. That is float on bearings. Double insulated and reverse running stop. So if the current flows the other way, uh, it will not turn backwards. Uh, this is type J11B2A, 2002, class 2, 20 to 80 ampere, 230 volt, 50 hertz, 240 revs per kilowatt hour. E200 series, the meter is made in the United Kingdom. Five digits plus decimal gear train, although there is a extra number for the hundred thousands, it's hidden behind the nameplate. The meter was not very happy. A bit of excess current through there. It's 30 ampere, it shouldn't be that protesting. It's not really happy there. Yeah, the wall over on this one. Didn't do the humming before. I think the current call is pretty fried on this uh, Ferranti because it has been uh, taken out. I'm going to open the meter up. I think current call is shorted out inside and got a shorter turn, so it makes so much noise. You need to be careful because these meters go live sometimes. So I just be careful, one hand rule here, and I got the camera rolling, it may even be emitting out of the device. 
I'll see, there might be some smoke coming out of the device, but well, can we pair it? I've got spare calls for these things. Maybe be careful opening this up, it may fall off. Hang on, I'm going to quickly de-energize for safety first. So de-energize the potential. That will kill a dead part, and then we can safely take the cover off, hopefully. We may get a puff of smoke coming out of the meter. Camera is rolling, okay, careful, careful, do the thing without dropping anything. Oh, yeah, smell a uh, varnish. I think it's got it cooked. Ew. Something is cooked inside. Park the current back on, energized device. Ramp it up a bit. And yeah, now we get the noise. It's not a happy meter. I'll have to cook for a wee while, see what happens. Not a happy meter at all. Let's have a look from the top. Oh, there we saw the counter right, that was lucky. The drive time works still quite well. A bit noisy, and expected after so many years. Beautiful made mechanisms. I've got about 10 of these meters, so I've got quite a few spares. Stuff that we'll never make again. Modern day and age. 5907 kilowatt hour on this meter and the other meter sits in uh, 72592 decimal 4. I'm gonna close this video off, I think. Okay, a okay, bit of metering. There we go. Night night. And of course, the best part is the energy device. Gonna do a quick night shot of these two meters here. High pressure sodium eliminated, and the good old Francie. <laughs> 